Hey, what's going on, XP Nation? Zanga coming back at you. I put a little brief video, my first video up. Actually, I was just test driving the waters, man, new to YouTube. I just put a little something skid up just to be able to look back and see how it looked and how it worked. Experimenting. And, you know, a couple of my friends cussed me out like, how are you going to put up a video like that, man? You're showing that nice piece and you ain't explaining nothing about it. So I'm going to run through a quick little bio. Uh, let you know what's going on. I mean, it's obvious the things I did. But I'm going to walk you around the bike and just point them out specifically. The biggest thing is the dual motors, as you can see. You got the front and you got the stock rear. This gives you that additional power, man. Pull off speed, uphill speed, and a couple more knots on your uh, actual overall speed. Um, I went with the Oscar light, you know, accessory posts, you know. MDX bar man motorcycle bar I just like it because it's multi adjustable you can change it any direction all those things are interchangeable I always like my hand grips I got the half the uh, side mirrors you know I upgraded the tires those XP tires I wasn't quite you know too pleased with so I went and got the Kenda Crusade Sports you know what I mean uh Excellent tire, all-terrain, off-road, the whole nine yards, like you really can do the thing. The Rock Rose bag, front little saddle, man, you know, you can keep small little stuff in there, easy to get to. It actually comes with, a, with another pot where I got my solar charger at, where you can put your phone and stuff in there. But I always like to keep my phone on my uh, handlebars. I like to be able to get to them quickly, you know. Um, obviously, I changed the pedals out, but I got some black and silver ones because eventually, well, not eventually, just when I get around to it, I got vinyl wrap for the bike. So what I want to do is cover up just this part of the blue, this part of the blue and gray. I'm going to cover up and make it, you know, gloss back, but I'm going to leave the silver stripes because I got so much silver accents going on. I'm going to leave the blues, although I brought blacks just so I can have something to complement the blue on the back of that seat, and I really didn't want to paint over it. Um, show you my setup. So, here's the setup. You know, obviously, you know, we got the 1,000 watt battery in there. The front wheel comes with its own controller that you just gotta hook up. It's not, def not that difficult, man. If you, anyway, electronically inclined, you can work it out. I'm going to be posting videos of how I did it because throughout all my YouTube researching when I was dealing with this bike, a lot of people, you know, showed a lot of interesting upgrades and modifications, but no one walked you through how to actually do them. They told you, they showed you steps. Some of them went in fast mode, but still the, the view was obscured, so you really couldn't see everything. I'm going to try to rectify that and do it a little bit more up close and personal. But I'm just giving you all a little basic rundown. See how you got the dual motors and you got the dual throttles. That's the start. This is a new one. The beautiful thing about it is when you upgraded the batteries, when I first upgraded and threw two batteries on, they both went to the back wheel. So I had to integrate an off and, an off and on switch. Not this one, but actually if you look you'll see that one. That is the first one. That's the second one. That's the off and on switch that goes to the front tire. Now, I did it, but you don't really have to because the throttle with the front tire comes with an off and on button on the throttle itself. I just figured that's how I've been doing it, so I just continue to do it. But you know, either, you know, to each his own. But um, that's basically the upgrade in a nutshell. But like I said, I have videos showing most of the things that I did to this bike during the process of doing it. And I will uh, post them up. And you guys, what you can get out of it, you know, you can get out of it. Hopefully it'll help you guys to do something with your bike that you might want to do. But, um, you know, it's all for fun. It's all about the community helping one another out. Trying to get our stuff to where we want it to be. And uh, 
this is one step so this is Zozangip signing off but y'all gonna hear from me real soon all right take it easy